full stop. Today, a new law takes effect for Washington cyclists. How the safety stop law could make it safer for those commuting on a bicycle. Incredibly warm. It may be the first day of October, but it still feels like summer. I'll tell you how long these 80 degree temperatures will last. Different departures. We all know that this is just an unbelievably difficult time for aviation. As one Boeing plane takes off for a test flight, another could be leaving Washington State for good. Noah came up with the best idea in the world. Rock on. Most live concerts are a thing of the past, but two Spokane teens are rolling with the changes and creating a way to bring live music to you. Up with Krem starts right now with Jen York, Joshua Robinson, and Dana Marie McNichol. Good morning. Thank you for joining us on our Thursday morning here on Up With Krem. Well, the NBA Finals tipped off last night and uh, did not go so well for former Gonzaga player Kelly Olenek and his team, the Miami Heat. The Lakers won handily, 116 to 98. We did see some significant playing time for Olenek, though, in the second half. Of course, it was after the game was already well out of hand, though he did have four points, five rebounds, four assists, and two blocks in 18 minutes of play. So this morning we want to know, who do you think will win the next game of the NBA Finals? Text us to 509-448-2000. Game two will be held tomorrow at 6 p.m. Maybe, Tim, that just means that Kelly's got to get more playing time. If they yeah, have him out for the end, that's got to be it, right? We're just so proud to see, you know, a local here from our area on uh, the, in the national spotlight, mm -hmm. you know, so it's pretty exciting to see him play. It's cool to be able to say that he's playing with LeBron James, right? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. How cool is that? So, anyways, be sure to weigh in. Text us your response, 509-448-2000. All right, let's take a live look outside now. Conditions this morning, it's a little bit chilly when mm -hmm. I walked outside, but that'll definitely change. As Dana Marie's been telling us, we will see a nice little warm up on the back half of this week. Let's get a check of the forecast with her from the Outdoor Weather Center. Good morning. Are we awake? Well, today's going to be a beautiful day. Just a couple of clouds overhead, partly cloudy conditions. 53 degrees right now. The winds are starting to pick up. My hair is being blown in the wind. But the big thing today is you're going to might hazy skies are in our forecast. Wildfire smoke from California is still being pushed our way, but most of it is going to be settling on the west side in the middle of our state, but we could still see it potentially here in the Spokane area. It's going to stay above 10,000 feet in the upper atmosphere, so the good air quality that we're seeing smelling right now, that's going to last. Don't worry about any of that smoke that we saw two weeks ago. It's pretty chilly in some areas, 40 degrees in Libby, Montana, 47 in Coeur d'Alene, 49 in Ritzville, and 39 in Deer Park this morning. Morning. One of those mornings where you got to grab a jacket, but then ditch it for later on because take a look at this hour by hour like we've been seeing for the last couple of days. Really beautiful afternoons, high 70s, really warm temperatures. Those clouds are going to come a little bit later on in the afternoon. So uh, enjoy the sunshine early morning. Your three day forecast sunny for Friday, 80 degree temperature, Saturday, 81. We might be hitting some record high temperatures for October come this weekend. I'm going to break down your full seven day forecast. Also tell you when you can expect those beautiful fall colors to bloom in your area. If you have any photos already of fall foliage, send them to us 509-448-2000 or send them to our Up With Chrome Facebook page. I love to see them. We'll put them up for everyone else to enjoy. I'll send it back to you. We love seeing those fall photos. Dana Marie, thank you. Let's get right to breaking news this morning. A couple of the biggest U.S. airlines are laying off thousands of workers today. United and American say they will begin to furlough 32,000 employees. The pandemic relief aid for the airlines ran out on Wednesday, and so far Congress hasn't renewed it. Executives from both carriers say if a deal worth $25 billion can be reached in the next few days, they could return workers to their jobs. Both United and American Airlines fly in and out of Spokane International Airport. No word, though, on if or how many employees locally are affected or if flights are impacted. Spokane Valley deputies are asking for your help in finding this silver 2017 Toyota Prius to check the welfare of a possible domestic violence victim. That Prius is being shown on your screen right now. Witnesses reported seeing a man strike a female passenger in the car several times on East Sprague Avenue near Howe uh, Road. Excuse me. 
Suspect's car has a Montana license plate 134153L. It also has a white sticker of a dog or a similar animal on the driver's side. Suspect is described as a white man in his late 60s, standing about 5'5 and 150 pounds with dark hair. Last seen wearing an orange long sleeve shirt. The victim is described as a white woman in her 70s at about 4'10, 110 pounds with dark hair. If you have seen the car, you are encouraged to call Crime Check at the number down at the bottom of your screen. That's 456 2233. Time now for your morning rush. More news in less time. So let's get right to it. There are three new confirmed sightings of the Asian giant hornets in Washington. The Associated Press says they were all confirmed to be in Whatcom County. That brings the total number of hornets reported to the area to 12. The Asian giant hornets are invasive to the Pacific Northwest. They have been dubbed murder hornets for their impact on the bee population. The Washington State Department of Health will be distributing new rapid coronavirus tests in the next five to 10 days. The state will receive 149,000 of these tests from the federal government. And by the end of the year, the state will have a total of 2.3 million rapid tests. The first batch of tests will be distributed to community health centers, tribal clinics, and critical access hospitals. The tests only take 15 minutes to give results. Both the CDC and Washington State Department of Health are classifying trick-or-treating as a high-risk activity. However, Dr. Bob Lutz recognizes that there will be people who still partake in the old-time tradition. Acknowledging that people are going to partake of a potentially risky behavior, how do you make it, how do you allow it to be done safely? That's why Dr. Lutz released new guidelines for the 31st to, uh, for, and some low-risk activities include carving pumpkins, virtual costume contest or a spooky movie night. For more information on these new guidelines, text the word Halloween to 509-448-2000. Now the Sheriff's Office and other news, the Sheriff's Office confirming that film crews with the TV show Cops have been riding along with Spokane County deputies. Crews started riding with deputies this month and will continue until the first week of November. The show was previously canceled by Paramount in June, but according to their website, the show is set to premiere October 10. A new documentary is focusing uh, one of, of those experiences of people who experience homelessness in Spokane. The film crews spent the last year venturing into homeless camps around the city. The documentary aims to change the narrative around people experiencing homelessness. Their goal is to get people talking about ways to improve conditions. Now that's your morning rush. More news in less time. Let us know what's happening in your neighborhood by using the hashtag up with creme. Thank you very much, Tim. There is a good chance this morning that you'll see this next story scrolling through your social media feeds. One of the nation's largest retailers has some new inspiration from airport terminals. Next year, Walmart plans to revamp the layout and signage of their stores. Company representatives say that the goal of these changes is to speed up shopping. They also say it will cater better to smartphone armed customers. Walmart leaders say that the new store layout plans were first discussed a year ago, but the pandemic has really accelerated those efforts as customers are increasingly focused on contactless shopping amid safety concerns. So here's some of the changes you can expect to see. First, customers will notice that signs with bold dimensional typeface spotlighting sections and that the exterior, look at that, the exterior and interior of the stores are gonna reflect the Walmart app icon. As customers enter the store, they'll see new layout that encourages them to actually download and use the Walmart app while they shop. Aisles are now gonna be aimed at also helping guide customers from their phones to very specific products. The plan is to also feature very specific sections with uh, toys and baby products and a number of other areas that face specific need. These changes will hit about 200 stores by early next year and another 800 stores by early 2022. I think it's odd to see a store shaped like an app personally. <laughs> it's just so, it's so unusual, isn't it? It is very unusual. You know, I think everyone's trying to reinvent themselves, especially brick and mortar stores with right. so many people shopping online. They have to figure out a way to engage with people and keep people interested in coming in person. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm always such an advocate of small local businesses. So it's so, such an interesting kind of, you know, 
two-sided street here to see the way the businesses are kind of moving forward, changing, shifting. Dana Marie, isn't it a little strange? Yeah, I mean, I saw more photos of the layout and in the beginning of the aisles, a massive screen is what you'll see first. You'll have your iPhone up and you'll wow. be able to compare what items are in the wow. aisles mm -hmm. before even walking them down. Also, scan and go, which makes uh, checkout way quicker. So they actually uh, saw Amazon's no touch checkout system and saw, okay, we got to do something like that. If it makes it feel safer, I, I get it, Tim. Yeah, very interesting. All right, still ahead on Up With Creme. The pandemic rocked the music industry and canceled live shows indefinitely. So a local band found a new way to bring concerts back, and now they're going viral for it. I was driving down the highway, passenger seat in my mom's Jeep, and I look in this parking lot, and I was like, you know, really upset about COVID. Something just like pops into my head. After the break, how their Craigslist buy is helping keep the music alive. With that hair and those glasses, how could you miss that story? By the way, after tons of conversation about mic muting after the first presidential debate, changes could be coming to the format of future debates. We'll fill you in just ahead. And a beautiful day to start off October 1st. Couple clouds overhead. We're checking out the sunrise that's coming up.